Howdy, sports fans! Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Playoff Weekend for the GTBL Summer League 2012. We are here in the Highlight Factory. Highlight Factory! Highlight Factory! Highlight Factory! You may need to record that theme song. Right? I made sure I did the remix. Remix! Dun, 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 dun. And in this playoff edition, you're gonna see highlights for the games between the Kings and the Rockets. As well as the shift, superheroes and training, and Goon Squad. Squad! Oh. So, arf, arf. with all that being said, Please, sit back, enjoy, stay healthy, ah, stay positive, my friends. Let's get these highlights started off with the Rockets in white, who came out to drain threes today, and the Kings in black, who apparently just like putbacks. The Rockets' little engine that could would not be denied today, draining another triple. This kid was on fire, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see through this play, too. However, the Rockets weren't just doing it on offense. Defensively, they came up big, which leads us to the factory-approved highlight of the game. Take that. On offense, Mighty Mouse had two fast, two furious swerving as he crossed them over and hit the three. Mighty Mouse continued his assault on the Kings showing these fat cats that they better get their game together, which they did, as Too Fast Too Furious knocks down a big triple to stop the run. Mighty Mouse, however, making the Kings defense look like Swiss cheese, his favorite. Rockets defense looking impenetrable once again. And of course, back on offense, here they are working inside, getting the big buckets. The Kings jacking up threes, and all they can hope for, another putback. But it seems that the Kings have hit their stride right before halftime. To find out what's really going on, we're going to go to It's Just Too Easy on the sidelines with one of the Rockets players. It's Just Too Easy. Take it away. Highlight Factory here with the Rockets during their halftime. They're down 23-19. So how are you guys, what did you guys give yourself in the first half? Uh, give us a B minus. Uh, we've been playing great defense and we've been trying to step it up on offense. I don't think they've gotten really anything in the middle. So we've got a lot to work on in the second half, but I think I think we got a B minus so far. Okay. So what exactly do you gonna are you guys gonna do to make sure you guys win the second half of this game? Uh, well, I, li I like how we're not talking a lot to the refs or uh, to the other players. It's a good uh, it's a good sign for our team about how mature we are. All right. But uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I think we should just keep doing what we're doing. They're trying to take threes and trying to win the game like that. That's not gonna happen. Hero ball, exactly. I got you. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Best thank of luck to you guys in the second half. Thank you. Now, I know that picture in picture was amazing, but if you weren't paying attention, Hero Ball started to pay off. White Hibachi was hitting threes, and the rest of the Kings finally started playing some defense. With those things going together for them, the Kings got up, and unfortunately, the Rockets weren't able to catch them. So the final score of this game was 48-44. All the stats and information can be found at the website, gtbleague.com. Now... If you're looking for the inside play, we got another interview with Roy of the Kings. Kings just irked out a close one, 48-44 over the Rockets. Congratulations, sir. Um, so what do you guys? So what did you guys do to finish that game off? Because guys really really got really tight there. Patience. All right. So you realize you know who your opponent, you know one of your opponents is going to be either the Goon Squad or Superheroes in Training. Goon Squad's gonna be a rematch last year. What do you guys gotta say to them? We don't care who it is, we're gonna win. Either way, you have none to say. We don't care. We don't you, this is your say. chance to send a message out to both teams. We want Goon Squad. You want Goon we Squad? We want Goon Squad. They and better win. And what if you get shit? If we get shit. superheroes in training, we, shit. we beat them in the regular season. We have a competitive edge. We got them mentally. They ain't nothing. They ain't nothing. Nothing. All right, we got it here first, ladies and gentlemen. The Commish on his way to the finals. Congratulations, sir. You're wearing a Goon Squad. That's who we want. This is who we want. They're calling out the Goon Squad. Goon Squad. The gauntlet has been thrown. Super heroes in training. Apparently, you guys ain't good enough. 
That's what they say. www.gtbleague.com. <laughs> Highlight Factory, check it out. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Game two of the playoff edition of the Highlight Factory. And it looks like we got the Goon Squad, defending champions in white, versus the shit superheroes in training in red. And we start with the shit dropping a big three point on top of the Goon Squad's head. But Big Baby Brent comes back with a layup, saying that this game isn't going to be easy. The shit were not intimidated by the defending champs, as they're shown here knocking down a big bucket and doing what they do best that got them to this game, which is play defense. The Goon Squad, however, show how they got their name by being bullies in the paint, fighting through all the hacks and finishing strong. The Goon Squad also know a little something about defense and send bones packing. In his first appearance of the day, we have the Gunner knocking down the long range two. Bow. Uh-oh. Is that who I think it is? Yes, it is. Big Baby Brent dropping a long three-pointer. And here we have Superman showing why he is the lead of the Justice League, the superheroes in training. First with the beautiful fadeaway, and then again driving for the disgusting pull-up. The man is still right there. The X Factor, trying to show why he's a superhero you shouldn't be reckoning with. But Big Baby Brent took that as a challenge, takes it right to him, and gets the and one call. Then Grizz decided to do his best Hulk impersonation and rip this game apart. At halftime, it's just too easy caught up with him to find out what exactly the shit are doing to be up on the defending champions. All right, you guys are up 26-21 right now. What are you guys doing that's working? Um, we're just playing good offense, you know, swinging the ball around, uh, getting open looks, and just uh, cutting to the basket. Is there anything that they can do that might swing the tide in their favor in the second half that you guys should avoid? No, there's nothing that they can do. They suck. I saw you had a little battle back and forth with the other left-handed guy. You, guys, you, guys, you care to comment on that? No, there's no comment. Just that I will beat them by the end of this game. Absolutely. I like the confidence. Thank you, superheroes in training. Thank you for your time. Good luck. All right, man. Whoa, those are some fighting words right there. But what a great back and forth between two fiery competitors. It looks like we may have a new rivalry brewing here. We knew the Goon Squad was going to take that line down, as you can see them fighting hard to make sure they finish strong in the paint. And off of the Bones miss, we have an outlet to the first Grizzly, who finishes strong. I don't think Grizzly appreciates the new Grizz and shows him with the layup straight in his face. On the other end of the court, Grizz says, you know what, take this, and finds the defense sleeping. Superheroes in training prove to be too strong as they muscle their way in and Superman finishes in the lane. And that takes us to the factory approved highlight of the game. That also takes us to the end of the game. Superheroes in training 61, Goon Squad 48. Please go to gtbleague.com for all your stats. It's just too easy. Take us away. Standing here with the winners, the guys are going to the finals. Superheroes in training, aka the shit. First of all, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Do you have any messages that, for your opponents, the Kings? Ah uh, no, just uh, watch out, cause we're deep. We're coming after them, and we're looking to win. Now they said beforehand that they they beat you in the regular season, and that they have the competitive edge. Thoughts on that statement? Uh, all I know is I wasn't at that game, so really, they don't know what they're up against right now so true 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 x-factor yeah x-factor for real all right well best of luck to you guys